What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of MLB The Show, Road to the Show. And today we are going up against the Oklahoma City Dodgers. We're finishing off our series that we started last episode. We got our first AAA victory down here in AAA. It took us I don't know how many starts, but we finally did it. I feel great about it. We made the Dodgers look silly. It looks like they have me batting six today as a designated hitter. Uh, we got our 66 overall. We're having one hell of a season. We got Patrick Sandoval on the bump. He's one and four, but his stats are quite impressive. 91 in the third inning, 73 strikeouts, 2.86 ERA. Going up against Dennis, Dennis Santana, uh, 10 and 7, 152 innings pitch. He's been down here all year, as you could tell by that innings total. 127 strikeouts with a 3.14 ERA. So this Dodgers team is a pretty solid team. We're going to try to sweep this series, get another W in the books, and stay above 500. So let's dive into this game right here, right now. All right, we're out here at Riverboat Field in Oklahoma. We're 67 and 67. We're at 500. The Dodgers, not so much. They are below 500. We're going to do our best to make this minor league Angels, minor league Dodgers matchup one of the best of all time. Let's get into it, fellas. All right, stepping in for our first at-bat of the day. We're batting 366 on the year here in AAA with a 1.075 OPS, eight home runs, and 33 RBIs. Top of the second here, uh, Dennis Santana threw 16 pitches. We got a dynamic challenge to start things off. We're going to hit a single or better, and I'm going to go with that. Haven't been hitting a lot of home runs lately, so we're going to do our best to make contact, get a base hit, maybe out there towards the freeway bridge if possible, and we hit this one down the line just a tad foul. Very early. That pitch was down the middle, but we weren't able to make solid contact with it uh, top 50 prospect by the way if you guys aren't aware we were drafted number one overall in 2021 or 2020 I'm not sure whenever they did the draft but I'm ready to get called up to the major leagues as soon as possible because I've just been shredding it down here in the minors I hit this one all the way out to the right fielder perfect line drive just to him and that'll be out number one of the second inning uh, I'm 0 for 1 today so let's send to the next appearance Oklahoma City Dodgers not a team to to sneeze at, but at the same time, they're a team that we could beat. We're here in the top of the third now. Bases loaded, two outs. We got a one-run lead. Dennis Santana still in the game, having thrown a lot of pitches. He throws that sinker right down the middle, and I probably should have swung at that, but you know what? It's all good. We're going to get another pitch to hit. If I get a grand slam here, I'm going to lose my mind, and I line this one right over to the second baseman. How could that happen of all the people to line out to? Oh, man. These Dodgers, they have a vacuum for gloves. Or they have gloves for vacuums. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's get on to the next appearance. All right. Well, we got a 4-1 to one lead. Dennis Santana still in the game despite the, uh, the offense from the team. And another line drive to the right fielder. First pitch swing in two. I think I was late on that one. So that's we're 0 for 3 today. That's not good as a designated hitter. This game's flying by. Thankfully, we had the lead. So let's get on to our next appearance here. Top of the eighth. The Dodgers are fighting back. It's a 5-4 lead. Only a one-run deficit. Bruce Star Gratterall down here in AAA. I didn't expect that after him winning the World Series last year with the club. Would never think to see him down here in AAA. And we get our first hit of the game. A nice line drive over the third baseman's head. We're going to go ahead and get a double out of this one. And uh, I tried to slide just for, just for fun, but it wouldn't let me. Got a stand-up double here. Let's try to get some insurance runs on the board. 14th double of the year. Jeremiah Jackson stepping in now. He's one for three this year. Uh, he's got a strike on him. Bruce Starr quick pitches him. And he pops this one out over to the second baseman, able to get to it in time. Almost was a bloop single if that one would have dropped on the floor. So one out here in the top of the eighth. Lane Huffman, he's new. His series, he's one for six with a solo shot. He hit that today, earlier in the fourth inning. So good for Huffman. It's time to turn him into Clutchman right here if he's able to score me and get some insurance across. All right, he lines that one out to, to center field. That's not going to be far enough for me to tag, though, unfortunately. I'm not even going to bother trying it because I know that I'm ridiculously slow. But that wasn't that good of a throw. I might have been able to chance it if I really wanted to. Should have done it. Jack Kruger stepping in. He's doing phenomenal. Two for three today, a double, a single, an RBI. He's getting it done here as the number nine guy. Love to see it. Let's see if he could do it here. One strike here in the top of the eighth. And second baseman's able to get that, no problem. So we go down after that leadoff double for the inning. Let's hope that we could close this out and get the W. Let's find out. And we made it to the ninth. Somehow we're back in it. They're going to walk me. We got a 7-4 to four lead, so that's good. Top of the ninth here with two outs. Bruce Star still pitching, uh, but they're going to go ahead and put me on first. So we got two men on. I'm hoping that uh, we're able to score these runs because you walk me, take away a chance for me to do some damage. You, you best believe that the rest of the team is going to be able to follow through. 
All right, that's a line drive up the middle. And they're, gonna, they're not going to send the runner. Oh, they are going to send the runner home. I'm going to try to go to three. And I'm going to be hosed. I'm going to be hosed. No! All right, we get the insurance, though. We get the insurance. Eight to four. We're going to get this W. Let's go. Two in a row for the squad. Above 500 once again. Hats off to the team. Casey Bowling shutting it down. Caleb Ferguson losing it for the Oklahoma City Dodgers. And Brendan McCurry with his third save of the season. Dexter Fowler goes yard. Jose Rojas goes yard. Lane Huffman goes yard. And Jack Kruger with a double. Love to see it. I had a double as well. Let's get on to the next game. All right, game three against the Oklahoma City Dodgers here at Riverboat Field. They are 62 and 73. We are 68 and 67, so we're trying to stay above 500. We're going to do our best here. We're going up against Mitch White, who is 9 and 12 this season, 3.81 ERA, 156 innings pitch. I think we're going to do some damage against him. So here's our first appearance of the day. We're batting third once again. 364, 1.07 OPS, 8 home runs, 33 RBIs. We've got a runner on first with one out in the top of the first. Mitch White has only thrown three pitches, and we're grounding into a double play. That's the worst possible thing I could have done here. And I am upset with myself. Let's get on the next appearance. Let's, uh, let's make like a goldfish and forget all about this and move on. All right, we're out here at shortstop. Alex Cobb on the bump for us this evening. He's, a, he's phenomenal. Cy Cobb down here in AAA is one of the best pitchers of all time. Uh, if there was a AAA Cy Young Award winner, he would be it as we get this easy out to first base. Barreto, to me, let's get on to the next appearance, fellas. All right, Cody House is up to bat. Alex Cobb falling into some trouble. We got runners on second and third with only one out, and this is going to be a ground out to me. I'm going to try to go home. Try to save the day here, and there's no chance. I should have just gone for the out at first base. But we do have a double play opportunity now that we get the runner at first, so hopefully that's what happens. Only one run comes across, but now the bases are loaded. Cobb, 27 pitches deep here in the bottom of the first with two outs. This is going to be a ground ball situation, so hopefully I'm able to make the play, and that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and throw to first because everybody was stealing there. The guy from first gets to second with ease, and we get out of the inning with only one run coming across the board. Really sorry, Cobb. I did not mean to make you that throw that many pitches. Let's get the let's get the offense rolling here today, fellas. All right, Cobb settling down, finishing the bottom of the second with his 40th pitch of the day, and that's a grounder right to me. Got a lot of grounders here today. We're gonna go right to first, and boom, that's out number three. Let's get on to the next batting appearance and get some runs on the board. All right, and we got the bases loaded with only one out. Mitch White on the bump. We got to drive in a run for this dynamic challenge. I would love to hit a grand slam, but I want to be realistic and at least get, or at least tie this game up, even if it's a sack fly. I'm totally d down for that. A base hit would be even better. Good eye, kid. That's outside, way outside, actually. Last four games, I'm batting 462 with a six for 14. Uh, I don't know what, but we're six for 14. Oh, I was right out in front, right out in front, super early, very early on that. That would have been the grand slam of the century. That would have gone over that deep center field blue wood wall, whatever they got out there for no reason. And I went outside for that one. You know what? I had to go for it because sometimes the umpire will give the pitcher that call. Obviously not me when I'm pitching, but I just had to stay alive. It was on the corner. And there's a base hit up the middle. That'll score at least two. They're going to send that runner over to second. Or sorry, they're going to send him over to third, and I'm able to get into second with another double. So that's two runs across. We get the lead now. Top of the third. Love to see it. And we passed our dynamic challenge. We did exactly what we wanted. So love to see that. And looks like Scott Shebler's up now. Hopefully we can get a couple more runs across because we're both in scoring position. Shebler with an 0-1 count. One out for Mitch White. Let's see what happens here. And he makes contact, and he drops it. So that runner's going to get across, and we got... A two-run lead here in the top of the third. That was scary. He he may not have dropped that. He could have. It could have been a line drive. Could have got me out with a double play. It's happened before plenty of times. So that was best case scenario right there. That he dropped it. We get the run across. Four shot at first. I'm still here in scoring position. And Dexter Fowler, with the three nothing count, is taking ball four. So now we got two runners on. Another opportunity to score some more runs. Mitch White falling apart here in the top of the third. 50 pitches deep. Matt Thice batting now with the one one count. Batting 262 on the year. Let's see what kind of damage he can do. And that's a grounder over to left field. I'm going to hold up at third because there's just no way I'm getting home. There's just no way. I would have been hosed. Bases are loaded now with two outs. Mitch White is having one hell of an inning here. 
Uh, not in a good way. Definitely not in a good way. Jose Rojas stepping up. It's a one-two count. Typically with two strikes on, these batters typically strike out. And that's the case here, unfortunately. We strand three runners on base, but not before we can get two across. So we got that two-run lead right now. That's always bueno. Let's get on to the next appearance, fellas. All right, Cobb still on the bump. We got a runner in scoring position here at second. And he's 49 pitches deep, one down. We're going to get a ground ball right to us. Actually, not right to us. This may be a bit hard to play. With the momentum going to the right, we get the throw over to Thais, and it's just in time to get the runner out. That's out number two in the inning. Hell of a play by TCAS right there. All right, Blake Gallon stepping in. We got runners on first and second. Cobb's falling into some trouble once again. We got to get him some more insurance so that we don't blow this thing. We got to get the sweep against the Dodgers, man. AAA affiliates sweeping the Dodgers. You got to love it. Oh, my God, Barreto. What a delayed reaction you have there, my dude. Thankfully, we get out of the inning with no problems. 3-1 here at the end of three. Juan Lagares, Kruger, and Anderley up next. Let's make it happen. All right, here we are against Mitch White. I think this is our third appearance against them. We're winning 4-1. to one. We got a runner in scoring position with two outs in the top of the fourth. Let's drive them in here, fellas. Shouldn't have gone after that. It was very late. PCI wasn't that good on it. Batting 324 with runners in scoring position, so that's always bueno. Love to see it. 66 pitches deep for Mitch White, and he gets one in the zone. Get the PCI pretty decent on it, but unfortunately it's a pop out to center field, and that'll be the end of the fourth inning. Hate to see it, but we got more insurance, so that's always good. All right, Alex Rosario stepping in. It's the bottom of the fourth, and we got a runner at first, so this could be a double play opportunity. Cobb would love that right here, considering how many pitches he's thrown. Okay, okay. Well, obviously, we're not getting the guy at first. Oh, my God, he took me out. He took me out, but we still got him. That was beautiful. All right, we got the bases loaded once again. It's top of the fifth. Dodgers are fighting back. It's 8-5. to five. Clevenger is in to pitch for them. And we hit this one over to the right side. We're going to get a couple runs across, baby. We're an RBI machine. As we get two runs across the board, we get Jose Rojas all the way over to third. Sorry, Franklin Barreto all the way over to third. And we got two more RBIs under our belt. It's now a 10-5 to five game in the top of the fifth. We've been killing it down here in AAA as far as hitting and pitching goes, fellas. Scott Shebler up to bat now. Only one down. It's an 0-2 count so typically in these o2 counts they end with strikeouts clevenger dude i could have stolen on that with that high leg kick of his hopefully he's not too concerned about me stealing i may try to do it here uh with dexter fowler stepping up he's one for two today with the triple i'm gonna go ahead and take a lead hope that he doesn't come over here and i'm going for it i'm going there i go fowler striking out waste of time that i did there trying to go to second but we got a couple runs across you love to see it Let's get out back onto the field and do some defense. All right, another offensive opportunity. The Dodgers are still clawing back. It's now 12 to nine in the top of the six. Got a runner at scoring position and a runner in first. Two outs here in the top of the six. And I foul this one off over to the right side, just late on that. If I was able to straighten that out, that would have been home run number nine of the season here in AAA. Batting 333 with runners in scoring position. We're two for four today going up against Nolan Long, seven pitches deep. And we're hitting that one into the gap. That's going to score at least one more run. Right fielder's not able to get to it, so that's going to score two runs. Dude, how many RBIs do I have today? And is this going to be another triple? Am I going to be the leader in triples in AAA? Yes, sir. You bet your sweet ass I am. 14-9 to nine in the top of the six. Let's go. Ninth triple of the season here in AAA. There's people that have been here all season that don't even have that amount. And I love to see it. Let's go. I don't know how many RBIs I have today. I think I have like 10. Out of the 14, maybe? I'm just kidding. It's definitely up there, though. Definitely up there. Scott Shevler. He hits this one deep. It's going. He's back. And that's over the wall. Scott Shevler goes to the moon. Love to see it. 17th of the season here in AAA. 351 feet. Let's go. We extend the lead over the Dodgers. 15-9. to and it's now 16-9. to nine. We got a triple, two singles, and six RBIs today. Love to see it. Another runner in scoring position. We got to extend this lead because the, the Dodgers are capable of fighting back. Top of the eighth one out. Alex Vasilla in. And we hit this one into the left center gap. Left fielder might be able to get under it. And he, oh, he misses it. So that's another double. Let's go. And they're going to send the runner home. They're sending him home. And he is safe. Another RBI. Seven RBIs. For the kid up here in AAA, call me up, coach. I am ready to play. 15th double of the season down here, and I've only been here for a couple days or a couple a couple months. I don't know. I don't know how long I've been here. It's 17 to 9 now in the top of the eighth. Caleb Ferguson taking over on the bump, and Scott Shebler back at it again. He hit a dinger his last AB, and he, he hits this one deep out to left. 
The left fielder's going to get under it. I'm going to try to tag. I'm going to try to tag, and I'm out. Oh, I'm safe. Let's go. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. All right, Dexter Fowler, one for three today. Two strikes, though, with two outs in the top of the eighth, and he strikes out once again. You hate to see that. I think we're going to get this W, fellas. We got a pretty fat lead right here, if I do say so myself. All right, bottom of the ninth. We got two down and a runner at first. Full count with Junior Guerra, having thrown 75 pitches. So he's been in since Cobb. And this one's a grounder to me. We're going to go ahead and throw it over to first to end the game, take our time, and let's go. Light that baby up, or light that stinger up for the Salt Lake Bees. We swept the Dodgers, the Oklahoma City Dodgers, and that's what you love to see. Infield's going to celebrate. Outfield's going to celebrate. Everyone's celebrating, and I love it. It's the best. One of the best feelings ever. We swept the Dodgers. We went four for six today with seven RBIs out of the 17 that we got. Hell of a team win. Junior Guerra gets the W because Cobb couldn't get it done early in the game. And that's going to do it for this episode, fellas. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. And uh, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of the video. I also have a podcast called Mike Up the Halo where we talk about nothing but Angels baseball. Make sure you guys go check that out. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Mike Up the Halo. And listen to us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Fellas, that'll do it for today. We'll see you next time.